thank you for tuning in to another Cosio Blade Review and today we're going to be taking a look at a new knife uh, while this knife has been out for a while but uh, finally snagged one uh, it is the CRKT M21 14G let's get a nice look at it there back side now this knife I have carried it for about a week done some very light EDC cutting, uh, you know, string hanging off the jacket, uh, open up a plastic packaging, you know. Uh, but I wanted to save this knife and the edge and everything for this review here. And uh, we're gonna, what we're gonna be doing is uh, uh, just talking about this knife and uh, you know, putting it to the test and cutting up uh, various different materials and uh, discussing how it felt in the pocket. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Hey everybody, I'm Major Cosillo, and thank you for tuning in to another Cosillo Blade Review. And today, we're going to be taking a look at a new knife. Uh, while well, this knife has been out for a while, but uh, finally snagged one. Uh, it is the CRKT M21 14G. Let's get a nice look at it there. Back side. Now, this knife, I have carried it... For about a week, done some very light EDC cutting, uh, you know, string hanging off the jacket, uh, open up a plastic packaging, you know. Uh, but I wanted to save this knife and the edge and everything for this review here. And uh, we're gonna, what we're gonna be doing is uh, uh, just talking about this knife and. Uh, you know, putting it to the test and cutting up uh, various different materials and uh, discussing how it felt in the pocket. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So, we're going to start off with some stats. Um, here's the knife closed. Uh, we'll talk about the handle length is uh, 5.375 inches and uh, the blade length is coming in at uh, 3.875 inches, so almost 4 inches. Uh, and the overall length is 9.25 inches, so a little over 9 uh, inches. And that is a really big, really big size for a folder. But it's a wonderful, it's really neat. Um, the blade steel is HCR 13 MOV steel. Uh, the handle has a liner lock and the frame is a uh, stainless steel with these really grippy really nice black g10 scales it has the auto lock safety uh, those of you who don't know you can't really use your liner lock you have to push this back and that allows for the knife to close uh, the pocket clip is four-way uh, changeable you can do uh, right-handed tip up tip down and left-handed tip up tip down um, this knife comes with the uh, VEF serrations. So let's see if we can get those. There we go. Tom VEF has been doing this for a while, but he partnered with CRKT. And uh, I really haven't seen his serrations on any other knives. So anyway, that is the, those are the specs of the knife. Um, it's a really nice, really nice blade. Opens up really smooth, and you can even flick it with your thumb stud. And it just seats right back in uh let's take a look at the box it's just your average crkt box confidence in hand crkt has the knife model number well name comes with a little pamphlet in there an auto locks pamphlet and then the plastic your knife comes in it's pretty standard you know that's what every crkt comes with uh before i get into cutting with this knife i, I want to point out um I have a couple knives set aside here, and uh, just as a comparison for those of you, um, and I got kind of some popular knives that I think a lot of people own that are in my collection. First, we'll start off with my first CRKT. That is the CRKT M1614ZSF. Oh, off camera a bit. There we go. Now you can see these two knives right next to each other. This one has been my, this is my first ever modern EDC folder, you can see that, still works great, 
And this guy was my workhorse. Uh, let's see if we can get close. You can see that. It comes in. There we go. Yeah. That's tar. Like some roofing. Edge is gone up here. But this knife has just held up like a tank. And that's what really made me want to buy another one. And I've always loved this. Uh, they call it a spear point. It's kind of like a drop point design um, in the M21 line. So anyway, that's those, those are the M21. Now let's compare it to, say, the Benchmade full-size Griptilian. So you can see quite a bit smaller, the Griptilian. Another great knife. Now let's compare it to another classic, the ZT-0350 Stonewash. This was my first ever high-end folder. Very happy with this one. But there they are compared. Let's compare it to another. The one everyone loves. The Spyderco Paramilitary 2. The uh, PM's getting a little close in size to this. It's another great, great knife. Very fun. And another one is the Hogue Knives EX-03. There it is, compared. All right. Right, so what I have here is just your standard printer paper. And uh, let's see if we can get a more cramped, but we'll start off with the fine edge here and just do a cut. As you can see. It's extremely sharp. Just glides like nothing. Now let's try some little serrations, get them in there. These serrations almost act like one edge. It's almost like having a fine edge. Ah, just very fun. And they just glide through that like glass. You really have no issue. Some other material I have here is some, just some standard 550 cord. So let's go ahead and get it like that. And that doesn't take barely any force. And what's cool is if I can get it on camera here, this VEF serrations, you know, it catches that material right inside one of the serrations and slices perfectly through it. Let's try this, the uh, edge up there. No issue, still. It just really flies through this stuff. Running out of length. There we go. Clearly, extremely sharp. Some other material I have here is uh, just some twine. Just some natural twine. As you can see, like nothing. Cuts right through it. Those serrations do amazing. Do some of that fine edge there and just the straight edge. And even if you wanted to kind of layer this up, there's multiple strands there. Like nothing. Let's do that again. Some more strands. Try the fine edge. I mean, it just, again, no issue whatsoever. So some other material I have is, uh, you might not be running into this stuff on an EDC or a daily basis, but it's just some rubber. Uh, this is one of those, you know those elastic bands that people used to work out with? But anyway, let's get to cutting. So I'll try with the serrations, like nothing. Easy. Do some fine edge. Just glides through it. 
Let's see if we can stack some pieces. Do maybe a push cut. Very nice. It's right through without cutting the table too much, the cloth. Let's do a couple more. Maybe layer this up. Get this layered up. Got some thicker, thicker piece to rub, thicker, thicker pieces of rubber. Like so. There we go. It's pretty thick there. You can see that. And like nothing. So again, it excels at just slicing through stuff. Look at that. Another material we can cut is just cardboard. This is kind of stiff stuff, but uh, that is crazy. I mean, that's not taking me any effort. And it's not, it's, it's multiple pieces here, it's two pieces. Look at that. It does nice on the fine edge. Like perfectly fine, but when those serrations hook right into that cardboard, it just it goes through it like nothing. Very impressive. Look at that. Again, just perfect. Some other material is Folgers, some plastic. So uh, we'll just start by puncturing and just slicing around. Again, no issue. Maybe a little more resistance than that other stuff, but there we go. Those serrations are wicked. I mean, absolutely. There it is inside there. Very nice inside view. We get one of those serrations. Yeah. Maybe some push cuts down. And it's just, it's just doing fabulous. This bottom piece a little bit thicker. can see no issue cutting up a for Folgers or uh, any other plastic that you might be cutting. It just does fantastic. Now how about some pretty tough leather? Let's see if this thickness comes through. Hopefully see if it'll focus in. There we go. It's not thin leather at all. But let's try serrations first. Oh, like glass. I am not using any force. Let's try the fine edge, straight edge. Look at that. Look at that there. Oh, that's some stiff. Stiff leather right there. Ooh. Let's see what's some harder stuff. But it just does like nothing. Punctures. Yep. Thick piece there. Having trouble. It's a lot harder. But, like nothing, cuts right through all this leather. So, again, just easy. 
Here's another thing that you probably won't be cutting in your everyday, you know, tasks. But an old plug. Just, you know, basic plug. Let's go ahead and put it in the serrations. That's through copper. Some copper in there. This just did easy. No issue for these serrations. Let's try the fine edge. See how that, that goes through. Again, no issues. Oh, almost. Slipped a bit. Let's try multiple. There we go. Multiple, three layers of this stuff. Oh, it's chewing up the... I don't know if that's coming through or not. It is chipping, bending that serrations. Let's see. Let's get it through all three of these. Let's see how this goes. Ugh, like nothing. Yeah, marred up those serrations. Most definitely... But I'm sure those could be, Let's zoom in on that. Yeah. But I am positive those could be worked out. No issue. So let's move on to the last bit of material I'd like to. This last bit of material is definitely not the craziest, but just some, some wood. So let's just see what it does. Very nice. That fine edge. That's taking no effort to do these sh to shave like that. No effort. If we bear down, really get in there. These serrations. Always be careful when you cut towards yourself. Let's see. So, again, you know, did pretty good with that. So, uh, yeah, it's looking, looking pretty good. Finally, we'll just see how this edge held up after all that cutting. Let's show you before we get into it. Let's see. There we go. Zoom in on that. You can see that took a pretty big, took a beating there. Yeah. Like I said, those should be, especially that's the, that's the nice thing about HCR 13 MOV steel, 14 MOV. Uh, these, these cheaper steels are really easy to get an edge back on. Uh, as opposed to, you know, something like your uh, CPM S35VN steel holds an edge a lot longer, you know, resistant to that chipping and stuff, but it's a pain in the butt to get an edge back on. So let's go ahead and do some of this paper. We'll start with a fine edge. And we did use the serrations a lot more. But look at that. Uh, a little bit caught up right there. Nothing major. Let's see if we do a straight cut. Pretty good. Now let's try those serrations. Huh? 
not bad. Eh, caught a little bit. As you can see, not as fine as they did in the beginning. Still, not bad for uh, what they cut through. It was that copper, that copper wiring that really started to mess with those serrations. But, not bad, not bad at all. So, uh, in closing, uh, I'd like to say carry-wise, this knife carries very well. Uh, the action, this is the action out of the box. Smooth. Uh, look at that, right there. Nothing. Um, one thing I always noticed, uh, people discussed about the auto locks, is they, a lot of people uh, complain about it. And they talk about how difficult it is and how they much prefer just a simple liner lock over that. Now they go to my left there. But I find it really easy to use. And I remember I first figured it out when I first got this, my first and only other auto lock knife. You can see just how easy it is. You simply just use this finger, pull that tab, kind of you can kind of see that little tab there it won't let the liner lock continue but when you pull that up it allows the knife to lock unlock excuse me and they always just discussed how hard it was to use but it's not at least in my opinion i'm sure there's many other people out there so you can use it both hands no biggie Let's get it unlocked. No issue, you know. Uh, but these knives, uh, these reviews for the 21, but stands the same for the M16. Uh, this line of knives made by CRKT are just phenomenal, budget friendly, uh, quality knives that really, you know, go tooth and nail with these high-end EDC knives, you know? And it just really, I think it's very impressive uh, what these uh, these guys can do. Closing thoughts are, this knife is, it's a great EDC, and I, I most definitely recommend it. Um, I'm going to be carrying this for quite some time. Definitely kind of, I prefer it over these, like I said, these expensive knives I have. I honestly prefer it. I like it a lot better. Um, just my personal preference, not knocking any of these knives, but just this, best bang for your buck. Um, it's just awesome looking to design perfect, that auto lock, that double safety, not an issue. It's as if you don't even have it. It's not a big deal. I don't know why they make such a big deal out of it. But anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's my review on the CRKT M2114G. Um, Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was informative. I hope you learned something or got to see this knife in use. Um, if you like my channel, uh, please, you know, drop a like, subscribe, share this video, uh, or check out my channel for other videos like this. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good one.